Okay, so I don't know what is wrong with my brain, but for some reason, and I literally just did this on yesterday's video, I said September every time I'm in October, and then I went with this video being like, okay, gotta remember it's November. What did I do? I said October this entire video. So every single time that I say October, just pretend like I'm saying November because my brain is gone. It just took a vacation and I have no idea what month it is in my brain. Hi guys, it is Mamado Dawn and it is the beginning of October, which means it is time for my October single mom budget where I go over all of my expenses for the month and what I'm going to try to spend under. I'm in a super funky corner of my house right now because I'm trying to be right next to a heater because it is so cold here right now and my house is a little chilly. Always, let's just delve right in. I'm going to post my very simple list for you guys. I don't get too fancy with it. I say this all the time. I wish I could. I love people who like make their planners really pretty, but I, I just don't have the time. So simple list posted for you guys. You can follow along with me. My budget for October 2020. Phones, $235. Uh, my car lease, $400. My car insurance, $100. My personal loan minimum payment, $400. My credit card minimum payment, because I have two different loans now snowballed into this payment. It is going to be $635 going to my credit card, which I am so excited to see. Um, grocery budget, $100. Pet budget, $50. Fuel budget, $50. Because it's getting cold. I don't think Charlotte and I are really going to be out running around too much. So lower that budget a little bit. Um, child budget, $100. My rent is $500. My electric is $150. That brings my total budget to $2,720. But do I have the income to cover it? My income streams for the month of October. So as always, picture posted for you guys. Um, Amazon. $2,400, that is my primary business. So last month I made $2,400. On eBay I made $50, not a hot month for eBay last month. Hoping that picks up a little bit this month. Um, affiliate marketing was $50, which is pretty good. That's the most I've ever made affiliate marketing and I have been working on that, so happy to see that. Freelance, as I tell you guys, I do so many little things. I'll write articles, I'll do runes readings, I'll take photographs, whatever I can do. That total to $100, child support $200, YouTube is $0, I am monetized, I am making money, but I have to read a, reach a $100 cap before I actually get a payment from YouTube, so I have not reached that $100 cap yet, so right now my income is sitting at $0 for the month of October. That brings my total income to $2,800, which means my budget for the month is actually $80 under what my income is, so I have $80 floating around for unexpected expenses next month. Let's take a look at my debts. So, I am now down to five debts. A couple months ago, I was sitting at seven debts. I have wiped out two debts, and I am super happy about that, but let's go over the debts I have left. I have my personal loan at $8,800, my credit card at $2,800, the loan to my dad is $4,680, my phone is $1,000, my car is $30,000, and the credit card is the next thing I am working on tackling out. I'm going to be trying to put as much extra money as possible. I haven't been able to put a lot of extra money lately, but if any extra money comes around, it is going to that credit card brings my total debt for the month of October to $47,280. That is my single mom budget for me and my two-year-old daughter. As always, we are going to be trying very, very hard to stick to this budget. Unexpected expenses seem to come up every month, but we're going to continue to just work really hard on staying on budget with the things that we can that are in our control and trying to find things that come up that are out of our control and we'll continue working at it. I will be back at the end of the month, the very last day of October to do a budget recap with you guys to kind of tell you whether or not I stayed on budget, how much I overspent, if I overspent, and of course how much I put to debt. If you're interested in seeing that, feel free to come back. I love having you guys and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.